Um, well, we drive this car, and um, this morning I came, after dropping my daughter off to the school, I parked the car here because our neighbor's daughter's car was parked right there. So I um, parked just on the side so that when she's ready to move that she would not be impeded by my vehicle. And I went inside and I was just sitting in for a few minutes when I heard the sound and then the men that doing construction there, they told me that, Miss, your car finished. So when I ran outside and saw, I just in shock. The baby and I could have still been in the car, you understand? Know, oh, describe how you're feeling now, though, and it's a few minutes have passed. And what's going through your mind at this time? I'm just grateful to God that we came inside immediately or that I did not linger at the school longer and then come home just as that this was happening, you understand? Or even I could have been walking through the path because we normally walk and then I could have been walking through the path and right now the path is completely blocked. So it something would have happened to us. So I'm just grateful that our life was spared me and the baby. When I look at the car, there's no way I could have survived if I was in that car. Yeah. Yeah. The baby would have, if he had survived, he would have been trapped in the car. And I'm just grateful. Just like 6.30 in the morning to get up to pray, pray with a group of people. And it was my turn to pray this morning. And I was just praying for the protection of the children. I just love children, everybody. It's children mine. Everybody around here, I said, God, I ask you just to protect us. I know you are real. Some people will say you are not, but I have proved that you are real. Protect us in this area. Protect us, God. And then to hear hours after that was six minutes to six, minutes to nine, the tree came down. Huh? I come out here and talk to the tree. They say I can talk to trees. I say, I don't have any money to trim you. i sorry I don't want to hurt you. I talk to this tree like this. But you were planted in the wrong place. You see the roots? If I, if I was not accustomed, I would fall. I fell there a couple of years when my oldest granddaughter was five years old. She's now 19. And we fell. I broke the fall with my shoulder on this house. Because I was lifting her, she was sleeping. And God kept us. I know the tree had him with us. There ain't nothing I could do about that. That's nature's way. Huh? But I talked to whoever I can, and everybody come up with their enormous amounts that I, I couldn't, you know, meet. Well, the tree was planted on the property. I didn't plant it. I have been asking since we moved in. My daughter was eight, my son was 11. I am asking town and country planning please give me permission to cut it at that point in time it was i think a guy told me four thousand dollars to trim it right. since then the tree grew another part this part that came down a second thing that they tell me the girth is too big they don't know how they're gonna handle it right mm. people have been coming asking and asking mad for mahogany man came and asked about the tree and I said well you know I can't tell you to come unless I get permission I went permission denied permission denied well a worker since said well it's a lot of bureaucracy in that and as long as the tree is on my property that will be what would be the hindrance for them to come and do it I went back again so much times Yes, you could cut the tree. Go to MTW. When I get to MTW, they say, we can't cut it because I know we're putting this paper. Take it back to town and country planning.